G'day guys, welcome to G-Man Speaks. Today, we're heading over to China and as your foreign correspondent, I'm gonna to bring to you some of the crazy demands of leftover women. So without further ado, gents, let's get started. Chinese leftover women refer to the female group aged over 30 and still unmarried. This phenomenon is becoming more and more common in China, often because women pursue career development, improved education, and high demands on marriage quality, leading to late marriage or non-marriage. Despite this, they still actively face life and look forward to sincere love. I love that saying, and I'm going to try not to stop this a lot. I probably will stop it a little bit because, guys, there are a lot of subtitles here. Uh, I watched the first couple of scenes just to see if it was a good video, and I think you guys will enjoy it. But they say women are, you know, focusing on careers, focusing on other aspects of life, and therefore relationships take a back seat. I think that's a little bit of a cop-out. I think the real um, red herring in that previous sentence was relationship standards of men, relationship quality. And when women generally say relationship quality, it a lot of the time isn't about the man's uh, demeanor and integrity and how he is as a man. It's about what he can provide in the life they want to live. As as I say, guys, a lot of the time, I'm not going to say all women, but a lot of women, uh, whether they do it overtly or covertly, they're sizing you up to see how much safety, security, um, and how much of a better life you can provide them and bring them up to your level. Let's take a look at how demanding Chinese leftover women are. 我要求其实也不是特别高，就一米八以上，然后长得帅一点，皮肤白一点，那个眼睛大一点最好。然后主要是有责任心，哪人无所谓，但是得有自己的事业。你还想跟我结婚？你根本不是我的择偶标准，你
okay? They have uh, thoughts, dreams, uh, hopes of what marriage or, uh, and domestic life is going to be like, and it could vary very much from what um, you can deliver, all right? which is just going to equate to a big problem. So I'll say that while this is outrageous to me um, that, you know, it's purely a transaction, right? It's purely a transaction. Not really saying much of what he's going to get out of it. Maybe some, some a bit of action, right? Um, in back of the Sang-Yong, all right? In the back of the Sang-Yong behind the Babinet Club. That's what he'll be getting. But he has to pay and lay down his life. Um, you know, it's... It is incredible. Um, it is, to me, outrageous. But I do admire the directness because it laid on the bloody table then. Okay, so for you guys, once again, I'll read. I'm not going to read this whole video out. I'll, I'll probably do 20 or so minutes and then I'll, I'll do the original link and then you guys can go and watch it. But this says, I have three clear demands. Firstly, I definitely won't do housework. I haven't done any of these at my house and I can't become your family's maid to take care of your whole family after I marry into your family. Secondly, the bride price must be 100,000 yuan, which is not an unreasonable request. Finally, you need to buy a house for my younger brother. Wow, eh? What planet do these chicks live on? My, bro my younger brother is about to get married and now urgently needs a house. Well, he better start working. As a future brother-in-law, you should show some sincerity. Regarding the size of the house, I really don't care as long as there is one. I think these demands are very reasonable and not excessive. Okay, well, what are you going to pay for them then? These away, these these chicks are way over the top. It's like at least you get a local chassis down from the RSL, the local RSL. All she wants is a cart and a Winnie Blues a fortnight, you know, and and and, and that can be it. And you might need to sling some uh, schlong upper, you know. Come on, come on, darling, come and give it to me, you know. That that's going to be the um the bride price for her. Some uh, Jack Daniels and Coke. <laughs> I am a 41-year-old independent woman. Although I haven't stepped into marriage yet, I am not impatient for success. I stick to my principles and won't settle for less in love because oh. I know that marriage is not a trivial matter and requires careful selection. Over the past 17 you? years, I have met many well-qualified men with high education, stable jobs, and multiple properties including cars and houses in Beijing. Although they are ideal partners in many people's eyes, if I don't feel attracted to them, I will reject them without hesitation. I believe that true happiness cannot be built on the basis of compromise. For me, affection is the primary condition for establishing a marriage. Besides a deep emotional foundation, I will also consider the other person's personality, moral character, and economic conditions. Marriage, to me, is an important choice in life, just like the college entrance examination, oh, yeah. which will affect my future life trajectory. Yeah. Therefore, I am willing to take my time to slowly find the one who is really suitable for mine this process. I enjoy the freedom and independence of single life. I can spend my income as I wish, enjoy the pleasure of traveling alone, and pursue my own interests and hobbies. I am not anxious or eager to get married just because I am getting older. I believe that when the right person appears, I will seize the opportunity without hesitation. <laughs> Overall, my attitude towards marriage is to prefer quality over quantity. I firmly believe that only by finding someone who truly connects with me spiritually, can we walk into the palace of marriage together and open a new chapter of happiness. Well. Until then, I will continue to enjoy my single life and bloom beautifully alone. This lady from... That's all right. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, like, like, like taking time to meet someone. But I think time's out. Uh, she's 41. Uh, having that sort of approach 
Uh, if she wants to be 41 and even get a wife, even if she's incredibly um, active in trying to lock a dude down, it's going to be super difficult. Another thing that I love, that I, you hear the same thing from women over here um, in Australia. When you go on dates from the dating apps and shit like that, oh, I could have married this guy and I could have married that guy and this guy had a bunch of money, but I didn't just didn't feel this way. I think it's fantasy talk to make themselves feel like they have a lot of options and these guys actually would have put a ring on it and done it. I think they would have liked to have thought the guy would have done that. But I think it's a bit of a pipe dream. I think it's a bit of a cope. But yeah, she's going to be waiting. She's going to be 81 um, making another video like that if she um, continues to have those standards. I find it incredible. All right, guys, about halfway through the video. Um, if you're enjoying this content, mixing it up a little bit, enjoying going over the ditch to China, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Aiming for 10K subs. So um, yeah, you joining the channel greatly helps me out. And what helps me out the most, guys, is just watching the videos through as far as you would like or can as that's what youtube values cheers from jujong arranged three blind dates in one day during the may day holiday but unfortunately none of them were successful she put forward quite specific and demanding conditions firstly the dowry must be at least 580,000 yuan secondly a full payment house of no less than 150 square meters must be owned before marriage and the property must be transferred to her name Finally, all of the man's salary must be handed over to her after marriage. She herself holds a master's degree and is 39 years old. Although the blind date objects were all types she admired... I mean, it's really going to tell you something about the chick when they're wearing a COVID mask in their house. After listening to her conditions, all three men chose to leave with a sneer, and one of them even suggested that she go to the temple to make a wish. <laughs> At a thousand-person blind date event in Hangzhou, surprisingly, there was not a single male present, with only female participants. <laughs> this was not because the men did not want to go, but because they knew they could not meet the high standards set by the women, so they chose to avoid embarrassment and not attend many older single women firmly believe that a low-quality marriage is not as good as a high-quality single life. They are not unmarriageable, but choose not to oh, yeah. In the process of blind dates, they have strict requirements for economic conditions, appearance, personality, family background, education, and other aspects. However, while pursuing these high standards, they often overlook the importance of being well-matched and their own actual situations. When searching for an ideal partner, older single women usually set a series of high standards, such as superior economic conditions, oh, outstanding okay. appearance, and a gentle personality. Okay, okay, so you see all these demands, okay? They're putting all these demands out, all these, um, the wish list. That's what we'll call it. They're not going to get all these things and they're going to remain single and that's why they are single well into their 30s and never have been married. Where where have they written down or specified what the man gets in return? Because he doesn't get jack shit, I don't think, a lot of the time, especially these types who want to be kept women. They think that, you know, the guy just being married to this chick and being a, a, a beast of burden um, is the price. <laughs> I don't know what world uh, these chicks live in. It just no, like, how is that even a good deal? Like, sign me up. Sign me up to that. It's, um, you're going to get nothing. There's no benefit. I'm going to demand from you. This is before there, she's even in the door. Can you imagine, you, you think that's all you're paying? You wait till she gets in the door. You'll be a slave. You, you'll be hating your life. Hey, what about you Chinese? Any Chinese guys uh, in the comments, tell me what it's like. Or guys married to Chinese women, um, tell me uh, what your experiences have been like. If this is your experience, or did you meet a normal one? Uh, I'd, I'd love to know. Because I'm not going to say all Chinese women are like this. I'm clearly, I'm not Chinese. Uh, you could not mistake me for being Chinese. I'm not going to pretend I know anything about Chinese women. Um, but surely this is just... Um, you know, it's the same as in the West, right? You get reasonable people who are level-headed and you just get these outrageous chicks. So really, apart from having a different language and living on the other side of the world, it's pretty much the same shit going on as what's going on here. However, they often overlook an important issue, being well-matched. At the same time, they rarely mention their own source of income and choose to ignore their own weaknesses. Hey, there you go. On the other hand, although most men are aware of their own economic situation, many women lack an accurate understanding of their own actual situation. This phenomenon reflects some deep-seated social and psychological issues. For example, 
some older single women may experience mental sensitivity and stress accumulation due to long-term single life and excessive <laughs> expectations oh. of a perfect partner. In addition, they also face social biases and misunderstandings about older single women. When Wan, a 29-year-old financial manager, rents a room alone in an urban village in Shenzhen. You gotta love the nice soft music they play in the background. It's like a real sort of romantic fairy tale, innocent woman uh, music. I don't know if they're taking the piss or what, but <laughs> these girls are the creators of their own situations. Why can't they be realistic and say, okay, this is where I am in life and this is what I can attract and this is what I'm going to give. So this is what I should expect, right? You think that would be the normal way that people would approach making a long-term uh, decisions into relationships and potentially getting married. And I was like, no, I just want all this shit and I'm going to give you nothing and I'm pretty sure I'm going to guarantee you that you're going to have to continue up in that price the longer we're married. And I'm not going to have sex with you at some point. That's going to stop. So you just keep paying with no sex, no nothing, and be happy about it because I'm there. You know, sitting on a phone all day or whatever they do, right? Not a they as in women, not Chinese people. Women sitting on your phone all day in the house, probably not working, probably banging dudes. Well, um, the husband's offered his finance job or whatever or running his business and or running his his hustles to trying to make make ends meet. Shit happens. Due to her long-term focus on work, her love life has been blank. <laughs> In her hometown of Fujian, okay. 30 is seen as an important age milestone for women, and unmarried women at this age often face social criticism. Therefore, her mother hopes she can solve the marriage problem as soon as possible. However, Wen Wan doesn't want to lose face in front of her relatives, so she chooses her own way to find love, blind dates. In order to improve the success rate, she even purchased VIP services at a marriage agency and went on nearly 100 blind dates in half a year. Despite this, she is still single. Okay, so you've gone on 100 blind dates, no luck. Where's the? I don't feel sorry for these people. Where's the self-reflection? I think it's fine to have high standards, but if you can't actually... Well, I'm saying high standards is in things that are reasonable, all right? If you're going out there, on a hundred, so 100 guys have gone on a date with his chick and just straight up said, nah, not interested, too much work, wants too much, I'm going to get nothing out of it. She doesn't go, okay, let me do an assessment, a self-evaluation of the approach I'm taking to try and attract a man who will actually want to marry me, and then work out and... Um, uh, recalibrate what I'm asking for here. No, 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 I just keep asking for the same. Oh, you know what? You know what? No, actually, I want more now. <laughs> what is going on? I feel sorry for my Chinese brothers over there. I'll tell you what. When Wan's blind date process is not smooth sailing, she has encountered various types of men, some with superior conditions, but incompatible personalities and some with compatible personalities but incompatible conditions. For example, lunch... Okay, I want everything to be perfect. Uh, ladies, um, a newsflash, perfect man doesn't exist. So make some concessions because I'm sure that your personality and circumstances aren't perfect either. She went on a blind date with a construction contractor. The obvious income gap between the two made when Juan feel powerless during the conversation another time, she went on a blind date with an average income otaku. Although they had a great conversation, they couldn't further develop their relationship because his workplace was not in Shenzhen. As the number of failures increases, when Juan begins to see blind dates as a task to complete for her family in order to reduce her inner pressure. However, when her best friend Ollie has a happy family and gives birth to a little boy, she feels touched. Ollie advises her not to pursue perfection, but when Juan says she doesn't have high demands on men, just hopes to find a man who makes her heart beat. Oh, okay. After nearly 100 blind dates over the course of half a year, when Juan decides to try a different approach, she plans... Oh, okay, she's going to change location because that's just going to change and make her... Um, who demands reasonable? Every guy in the world is probably going to think the same thing. It doesn't matter where you are. Go to the Congo; it's going to be the same thing. As I said, she wants a man who makes her heart beat. Well, it must be stone cold ice. 
like ice block of ice in there. She's been on a hundred dates with a hundred different guys. One guy did nothing for her. It goes to show you that no matter where you are in the world, women are always wanting something that's out of the reach a lot of the time. Um, or if they think they've got that and they get married and they realize that the guy that they've made up in their mind to be James Bond or Mr. Exciting is just a normal dude, that's when they fuck them off. So that was probably my experience, uh, guys. I got divorced and uh, to a woman who, yeah, had high, high standards and wanted this. And um, I think she probably got disappointed when she got in the door and realized that's not reality. Anyway, so I can talk from firsthand experience here. ...to go to Malaysia during her annual leave to see if she can find her own love in a foreign country. However, after a few days of getting along, she still hasn't found a man who makes her heart beat overall. Older single women may be very picky during the blind date process. I love it. They not only consider factors such as the man's economic conditions, appearance, and personality, but also whether the two are compatible and share a common language. This pickiness is not a bad thing, as marriage is a major event in life that requires careful consideration. However, excessive pickiness may also lead to missing some suitable partners. Therefore, older single women need to strike a balance when blind dating, adhering to their principles and standards, while learning- Not just blind dating, just in interactions with men in general. Newsflash ladies, uh, despite what you've been told and, and groomed essentially as uh, with the media, with um, movies, shows, books, we are not here to serve you. We are, we're humans just like you, and we also have needs. So if you have needs, you make sure you're obviously servicing the man's needs regardless of what it is. And I'm not just talking about bedroom stuff here. So you can't ask for value if you've got no value yourself. So if you just, this lady here is asking for value, she's been on dates with 100 blokes and not one of them has taken her on or she hasn't seen anything in him. What's that What's that telling you? So while this, while this video is about China and just seeing what's going on over there, all this stuff applies here, guys. I had I had this experience firsthand when I was out uh, womanizing. So while I wasn't looking for anything serious, I can tell you I heard all this same shit from so many different women. It's like a playbook. It's like a hive mind. It's a software program. They all say and want the same shit. Anyway, I think I'm going to cut it off there, guys. Thank you very much for watching this far in. Once again, appreciate 22 minutes of your day. And yeah, if you haven't subbed and you enjoyed it, please sub. See you in the next one.